Lewis Hamilton is a brand. Max Verstappen is an F1 driver. Those were the words of one Graham Watson, the team manager for AlphaTauri, who believes that Max Verstappen saved Formula One from oblivion. In his humble opinion, while Hamilton is a well-known brand with his hand in plenty of cookie jars, he just doesn't embody the racing spirit that Verstappen does. According to Watson, Verstappen's presence is instrumental in breathing new life into the sport. Verstappen is the face of Formula One now, and his devoted Orange Army fills up a good chunk of the grandstands. His home race, the Dutch Grand Prix at Sanford, has been revitalized as a festive tribute to the Flying Dutchman, further highlighting the immense influence and popularity he brings to the sport. According to Watson, Verstappen deserves credit for single-handedly saving Formula One by attracting a fresh audience to the sport. He points out that Verstappen's impact is distinct from Hamilton's influence, as Hamilton is seen as a brand with recognition extending beyond his F1 achievements, unlike Verstappen, who is primarily acknowledged for his prowess on the racetrack. He told Verstappen.com, Max is the best thing that has happened to Formula One. When Max went from us to Red Bull, I compared it to Michael Schumacher's move to Ferrari. He made Formula One immensely popular at the time. Just look at the old images of Hockenheim and Spa. The stands were full with Schumacher flags. I think Max single-handedly saved Formula One, because he brings the same intensity and generates interest. People come en masse to Austria, Spa, actually everywhere for him. I didn't even see that back in Schumacher's time. My wife is 60 years old, but a big fan of Max, because of his style, because of the excitement he creates on track. Max brings a whole new audience to Formula One. Lewis Hamilton is very talented, but is involved in so many things that people wonder. Is he a Formula One driver or not? He's associated with so many other things. Lewis Hamilton is a brand, Max Verstappen is a Formula One driver, and that won't change. I'm not saying that what Hamilton is doing is wrong, but he's not the nerd like Max. When guys like that are not in the car, they're in the simulator or in a cart. They're always trying to improve themselves. Eddie Jordan thinks that if Max Verstappen saved the sport, then Sergio Perez saved the sport's drivers. The former F1 team boss is convinced that Verstappen's opponents in 2023 had it easy, saying that the absence of strong competition from Checo meant Verstappen didn't have to push himself to the absolute limit. Verstappen showcased an extraordinary level of dominance in 2023, contributing to Red Bull's remarkable achievement of securing 21 wins out of 22 Grand Prix races that season. Out of these, Verstappen claimed victory in 19 races, surpassing his own previous F1 record of 15 from 2022. And, his unprecedented streak of 10 consecutive wins set a new benchmark in the sport. Verstappen's rivals frequently found themselves trailing behind as he pulled away, causing incredible frustration for seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. The inability to compete for the elusive eighth title for another season left Hamilton and others dissatisfied. But... According to Jordan, Hamilton and the rest of the grid can consider themselves lucky, as the lack of competition from Verstappen's side meant the challenges they faced were less intense. Stressing the importance of having a formidable teammate from his own experience, Jordan emphasized that you need worthy competition in Formula One. He used this perspective to highlight the absence of a serious challenge that Verstappen encountered from Sergio Perez. According to Jordan, this lack of a strong internal competition meant that Verstappen didn't have to showcase his full capabilities, despite the overwhelming dominance he achieved. Jordan shared these insights during a discussion with 13-time Grand Prix winner David Coulter on the Formula for Success podcast. I think a very strong teammate is exactly what you want. And I would just like to say, with the same analogy, if Checo was quicker, I think we would have seen even a quicker Max. That's the thing, because I don't think he pushed himself. When Lewis is talking about 17 seconds down the road, that's 17 seconds down the road without even having to be pushed. So now let's put it in the right context, because it's one thing being out there in the front. You're minding your tires. You don't necessarily, as you have always said, you win the race in the slowest possible time. Perez kicked off the season impressively, securing two wins in the first four rounds. But his performance took a nosedive thereafter, with several concerning slumps raising speculations that Red Bull might consider not letting him complete the remainder of his contract in the 2024 F1 season. While Perez has managed to retain his seat, 
There is a consensus that a crucial start is imperative to maintain Red Bull's confidence in him, but Jordan disagrees with the speculation, suggesting that Red Bull would contemplate replacing Perez mid-season if he fails to kick off with a strong performance. He said, Checo started the season so well, those couple of wins early on, and he probably was on a bit of a hype mentally. He probably felt so strong, and then he suddenly realized that when Max kicked into gear, so to speak, and he found his real mojo, not that he ever really lost it throughout the season. He must be probably the most difficult teammate that you could ever hope or wish to have. There's been a lot of talk about Checo possibly being replaced. I personally don't see that. He has a contract, and I have a good idea the people in Red Bull are pretty honorable people through and through. Max Verstappen's dominance makes him seem invincible, but as with every good villain, there's always an Achilles heel. Christian Horner has let everyone in on the one aspect in Formula 1 where Max Verstappen isn't entirely comfortable. Horner has unveiled that the Dutch driver isn't entirely at ease with the level of fame and global recognition he has garnered. During an episode of the Secrets of Success podcast, Horner was asked to provide a summary of Max Verstappen as a person. The team boss revealed that, unlike Lewis Hamilton, his driver isn't particularly fond of being a celebrity, saying, Max as a person is just a really nice 26-year-old young man who is passionate about his racing and uncomfortable with the level of fame or notoriety that he has now. He just wants to do his job and race a car hard. He is very, very straightforward and very honest. He loves spending time on his PlayStation if he's not in a race car. So, outside of the car, he is quite a gentle character. Inside the car, he's ruthless. I've never met a driver that is as driven as Max. From the moment that he steps into the car, you know that you're going to get 110%. He will expect 110% back from the moment that that car leaves the garage. Horner also shared that there's a specific facet of Verstappen's ruthlessness that becomes apparent right from the moment he steps into his Red Bull at the beginning of a race weekend. This aspect is strategically employed as a way to send a message to his opponents. It's interesting, whenever we go to a racetrack, even a new circuit, the first lap of a weekend, in many respects, is meaningless. I will almost put my house on it that the driver that comes out the first lap with the fastest time, sometimes two, three seconds a lot quicker than any other driver, is Max, because it's a way of him stamping his authority on, I'm at one with my car. I'm at the top of my game. Bang. He has the confidence, the ability, the feel, and the technique to be able to do that and to be able to adapt. I think he came into Formula 1 at a very young age as a teenager, having missed, if you like, the training that goes on through the lower formulas. He did that very publicly in an arena where every move that these guys make is scrutinized and pulled apart. I think he came through that, and his mental strength, the big game moments, whether it's qualifying, whether it's a start, whether it's an overtake, whether it's an outlap, that's where he's outstanding. I've not come across a driver previously with his resilience to be able to deal with pressure at those high-stakes moments. So, do you also see Lewis as more of a brand than a racer? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.